Hi friends. Now, in this lecture, I am going to explain you about the axilla. So, the axilla, or this is also called as armpit. So, what is axilla? Axilla is a fat-filled space, pyramidal space, which is present in the upper limb and the side of chest. So, let me see. This is the axilla. It is the space that is present between, this is the upper limb, that is arm and the chest wall. So now, what is it, what are the boundaries and what are the other contents of it? So what is axilla? So first for the axilla, so this total part is the axilla. If you remember in my previous class, I have told you about anterior axillary line, posterior axillary line. So the anterior axillary line passes through the anterior axillary force. See, this is the anterior axillary fold. This is posterior axillary fold. See, this is this one. This anterior axillary fold, this part. And this one is the posterior axillary fold. So the space present between the anterior axillary fold and posterior axillary fold is axilla. So if you see the line of orientations, different lines of orientations, yeah. The line that passes through the anterior axillary fold is anterior axillary line which will be like this. This is anterior axillary line. And the line that passes through the posterior axillary fold is called as posterior axillary line okay and the one that passes in between middle of these two axillary folds is this one this is middle axillary line so now in this diagram i have said you i have introduced you few terms the thing is axilla it is the armpit so this axilla it is bounded anteriorly by anterior axillary fold and posteriorly by posterior axillary fold. The space present between them is nothing but the axilla. So anterior axillary fold, the line that passes through the anterior axillary fold is the anterior axillary line. And the line that passes through the posterior axillary fold is the posterior axillary line. And the line that is present in between these two lines, that is, these the two folds, anterior axillary fold and the posterior axillary fold is the mid axillary line. So these are the axillary lines and this is axilla just show and now boundaries of axilla as I said axilla is pyramidal so now you'll be having few boundaries of axilla so now first let me say you the different boundaries or how to interpret the boundaries so as it is a pyramid it will be having an apex okay and a base this is the base and it will be having this is the medial wall this is the lateral wall. Okay. And this part, this the, this thing. See this one which I am, this one. This is the posterior wall. So this is a pyramidal shaped thing. And this one, this thing. Is the anterior wall. So... Axilla has two things that is apex and base and four walls. Medial wall, lateral wall, posterior wall and the anterior wall. So all this forms the boundaries of axilla. So let us see the apex, this apex. So this is what where it is present, it is present here. See this whole pyramid you can take and you can keep here. So it will be like this. If you see, if I wanted to draw this pyramid here, so it will be like this. So it will be somewhat like this. So this is apex. This is base, this is lateral wall, this is medial wall and posteriorly posterior wall and this is, this is present a little above like this, see, here, this is present like this to say truly. So this is the axilla armpit, so if you totally, I mean, abduct the arm, if you keep the arm like this, then you can see that triangle here, if you totally abduct the arm, then you will be seeing this triangular thing here with an apex here base like this and like this like this see 
assemble it somewhat like this. So, the first let me see you. Let me see you the apex. So, apex is bounded by cervical axillary canal. Apex is also called as what is it called? Cervical axillary canal. So, this is the apex. This cervical axillary canal. This one. This total is the apex. So, what is there here? So, this total is the outer rib. That is for outer border of first rib. Okay, this thing. This is the outer border of first rib. This is the medial boundary. Medial boundary is outer border of the first rib. And this is the scapula. And this is clavicle. So, the cervical axillary canal or the apex is bounded medially by the outer border of the first rib, literally by the scapula and in front by the clavicle. So, this is the apex or cervical axillary canal. Got it? This is the outer border of first rib and then clavicle, this is scapula. Where is it present? It is present somewhere here. This is clavicle. Here you will be finding this clavicle and here you will be finding this first rib and on the back side you will be having the scapula. So, apex will be present here. Okay. So, this is the uh, cervical axillary canal or apex. Okay, got it? Now, let me see. Let me show you the base. The base, it is the lower end of axilla. This base corresponds to the hollow which is bounded, this one which is bounded in front by anterior axillary fold and behind by posterior axillary fold. Okay. This part is the base. The base is the free part or the lower end of axilla. See, this part is the base. Here it is bounded anteriorly by anterior axillary fold and posteriorly by posterior axillary fold. So, this part is the base. Apex is present here and this base is present here. So, let me show you all the other medial and lateral boundaries. So, this is the cross section of axilla. So, you have seen this here. If you cut it like this, so if you cut it like this, and if you I mean this thing, if you invert it like this, then you, you'll be having the cross section. So that cross sectional view is this one. So here I'm first naming the bones. This is the first rib, this is the humerus, and this is the scapula. So now based on these origins, you can find out the muscles very easily. So let me let me first uh, name you all this. So this is humerus, this is first rib, this is scapula. So you can see the rib and the humerus or not only first rib you can say in any rib if you cut it in the first section then it is first rib then you will be seeing the apex if you cut it in second third fourth then it is uh, uh, you can see that cross sectional so now the, to the to the ribs mean second to sixth ribs and to the humerus this is lateral lip of the bicepital group to this it is attached is pectoralis major this is pectoralis major and then this is pectoralis minor. It has nothing to do with uh, this one, but it is attached to corocoid process. So, as it is a cross sectional, you can see it like this. So, it is pectoralis minor. And see this. What is it? It is attached to the scapula and it is attached to the ribs, which muscle you can guess it. It's serratus anterior. Okay? Serratus anterior. What is it? It is serratus anterior. And this is, uh, see this. This is attached to the uh, scapula and it is going towards the humerus. So it is subscapularis. It is attached to subscapular fossa. So it is subscapularis. And see these two muscles. These two muscles have no relation with scapula or with ribs. So these two muscles are attached to the humerus. So if you see, this is the bicepital groove, that is lateral rib. This is medial. It is attached to the medial rib and it is attached to the floor. To the floor of this bicepital group, latissimus dorsi is attached. So, this is latissimus dorsi. And to the medial lip of bicepital group, teres major is attached. So, all these are the muscles which you can see here. So, you, you can now correlate with the walls. So, this is anterior wall. So, what are the boundaries of, boundaries of axilla? So, this is a cross section of axilla. So, for the anterior wall, there is pectoralis major pectoralis minor okay anterior wall is pectoralis major and pectoralis minor and posterior wall posterior wall is 
this is posterior wall just opposite to anterior wall so posterior wall is subscapularis muscle serratus anterior and then teres major and latissimus dorsi see all this comes under posterior wall so what are the posterior wall muscles serratus anterior subscapularis teres major and latissimus dorsi all these are the posterior wall muscles and now what comes medial medial is nothing but the ribs all the ribs and intercostal spaces comes to the medial wall so you can see here ribs so this is medial and then lateral what is lateral lateral is nothing but the humerus so you can see the humerus and the and even humerus bone and even the tendons all these three are the tendons what is the tendon of biceps brachii long head and the other is the tendon of biceps brachii short head and the other is coraco brachialis what are they biceps brachii long and short heads and coraco brachialis all these take the origin from scapula and they are inserted to the humerus which you will be learning in arm muscles so all these muscles tendons you can see in this cross section so all these form the lateral boundary so anterior bound anterior wall boundary is formed by anterior wall is formed by pectoralis major and pectoralis minor muscles posterior wall is formed by subscapularis teres major latissimus dorsi serratus anterior medial wall it is formed by all the ribs and its costal cartilages along with the muscles and lateral wall it is formed by humerus and all the three that means three tendons which is biceps brachii long head biceps brachii short head and coraco brachialis okay all this is the boundaries of axilla so you have to come to the contents so contents so you can see the contents this part and mainly this part this is axillary artery red colored thing is axillary artery this blue color which you can see is axillary vein and what is this yellow yellow is always for nerves so what what are the nerves which surround this axillary artery there are thing but medial sorry and later medial correct medial lateral and posterior cords of brachial plexus So all these are the cords of brachial plexus. So medial, this is medial, this is lateral, this is posterior cords. Medial, lateral, and posterior cords of brachial plexus. And even fat and lymphatic tissue will be there. So all these are contents of the axilla. So contents of the axilla once again. This is axillary artery, axillary vein, medial cord of brachial plexus, lateral cord of brachial plexus. and posterior cord of brachial plexus along with axillary pad of fat and even the axillary lymph nodes all these are the contents of axillary artery this ends the boundaries and the contents of axilla okay bye